Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I um, make some designs from images you may find off of Google or wherever you may be. Um, so today I'm going to show you um, an example from AliExpress. I really like this bow. Look how cute this bat bow is. Like, isn't that adorable for Halloween? Um, I don't want to pay $12. I don't want this wood thing because my storage is for like the thin lit dies and this is just going to throw everything off. And I don't want to pay $18 like once shipping prices because there is shipping on this one. And I'm only going to use it one time a year and I'm not going to be sending bat bows throughout the year. So <laughs> this is when I make my own um, silhouette designs. Okay, so this one, it shows you what the... um it shows you what the die looks like like the pieces you know see how it's all black versus like if you just saw a picture of this bat you wouldn't know what the die looked like if that makes sense so it needs to have an image like this um, I have a Mac so I just hit shift command and 4 and I trace the little cursor and it just took a screenshot of that thingy Let me try to move my uh, stuff around, sorry. So here's my silhouette, studio, design, whatever, that's open up. Here's all my screenshots I do. I just literally get it and drag it over. There, now it's obviously really tiny. Just stretch it out. So then over here by my mouse, you hit the, um, you come over here to hit the um, trace tool. And you're going to hit select trace area. So I'm just going to try to avoid words and letters and stuff like up here in the upper corner, as you can see. Then over here, um, the high pass filter, you're going to want whatever, like the whole design, you're going to want it uh, yellow. So I, you just adjust it as so. Let's see. A little higher and then down here at the scale if you want tighter lines like smoother edges you I scale it down usually it only lets you go to a four and sometimes I mess with the threshold just to see so this is like a playing game you kind of just you know go okay so then you like it you could do trace like if there's like internal stuff but this is just I literally just want to trace the outer edge so I hit trace outer edge and as you can see it's like this um, to get rid of all these little like um, pieces I click on the image and hit control and release compound path what that does it makes everything like separate in its own thingamabob so I could delete all these little pieces, just highlight them, and then I hit delete on my keyboard. So if I cut this exactly like how it is, each of these squares represents one inch. You can adjust your grid to whatever your liking is. So this bow would be literally two inches wide. I think I want to make it like two and a half inches, you know, something... So I just highlight everything because you want them to all be like relative size and you could just stretch it how big you can make a big giant bow if you want to or a little bow. So this piece is like it's about two and a half. Yeah, I usually don't use these little pieces that like hold the bow together. I kind of just hot glue everything together and then put like a, a center, but I will cut it for this sake and that's it. So that's literally all I had to do. All you do is come over here, here hit your little cut settings and cut it with whatever paper or settings that you have. Um, I'm gonna show you another example when it's not so easy to trace an image off the internet. So here's my AliExpress. Here's another bow. Okay, say you liked this. Okay, you know what, I like this bow. Let me try and save the image. Okay, I just took a screenshot. Let me shrink this down. Where's my screenshot? Here it is over on my desktop. 
I drag it over. Here's where you're like, oh, this is where you find out it's not always that easy. So you want to select the bow because that's what you want, right? Oh, no. <laughs> so look, even when you adjust the high pass filter, it's selecting all that other like images, the letters, like, I mean, literally you could mess with this all day long and it's not going to give you, it's never going to just like highlight the bow. See, you're like, oh, I think I got it, but no, it doesn't work that way. So then you're like, great, I can't, I literally couldn't do that. You could, obviously there is other pictures with this just as the die, but I'm just showing you an example of when there isn't. Um, I come over here with this, it's like a figure eight over here, and you can literally, I'm going to zoom in to show you guys. If it's an image, for instance, I did this with a we. I think it's a We Are Memories Keeper flower die, and I just literally went in and I traced, because this I clicked the curve one, the eight, because I have lots of curves. If you're just like highlighting a square or something, um, yeah. So look at, I'm literally just tracing, and it's pretty fast, like you just click to like start arching the arch and stuff have to be perfect but I'm just showing you guys okay I'm gonna stop right there oh I said I'm gonna stop right there <laughs> let me zoom out so once you like trace the entire thing you see how it's shaping the bow you would have a cut file just by tracing it and you would trace the little windows and the circle and whatnot but yeah that's how you can do images that are really hard to trace or you know find a a clear cut image but this one was solid black so it was easy to trace okay so that was just an example to show you that okay I'm gonna cut this and show you what the bow looks like it's two and a half inches wide All right okay guys so I'm just gonna show you what the bow looks like now so I cut it out um, the same size that I had on the computer in a glittery orange and then this one's like a stiff black cardstock with a little bit of glitter speckles in it it was harder to like curve the edges so I'm like oh let's do a different color so this is it, super cute. It is a little under two and a half inches wide at the widest point. Little bat bow, so cute, right? And then I, that image, I had everything selected and I dragged it out a little bit further and I made this one three inches wide. Love, I think I love this size or maybe a size in between. But I put a little gem, gem instead of that little paper piece. So those are them, and I'm just gonna show you real quick what it, how like I do it. So I get a pen that's rounded, like obviously, <laughs> and I just start curling the paper with my thumb and the pen, just like you would curl ribbon with scissors. Oh, 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 oh. Then just glob on some glue in the back, hot glue. line it up so that it's you know it's not going to be hanging over on the edge and while I'm holding it down letting the glue hot glue like really set I like to tap the edges to make sure that it's it's staying round you know because this will be the front oh but see I didn't line it up all the way and you can see like the white so I'm going to use this side instead <laughs> probably why you should use the black so that you can't see like I mean black's double sided you know okay then just off the excess glue. I like to pinch it off once it's dry. And this guy, put in the center, just fold these pieces over. We'll try to center it. Okay. And this is why I like this fine tip glue gun because it gets in these tiny little spots. My big giant glue gun wouldn't, it, I mean, it would be a hot mess. Okay. 
So these are the bows. Just like I said, you can do that with like basically any image off the internet. Make sure you are not doing these images, taking them off the internet, making these designs, and selling them. Like say you go to sell this embellishment, that person will come after you for copyright and everything else. This is for my personal use. Um, and yeah, here's the bat bows. Super cute. All right, bye guys. Catch you on the next video.